Do the arts have the power to save lives or at least improve them? For 28 years, one organization has said, yeah, we believe it does. They have turned those words into action. The mission of the Unusual Suspects Theater Company is to mentor, to educate, and enrich the lives of young people through the creation of collaborative original theater. They provide free workshops to under-resourced communities, schools, even juvenile detention facilities. Many who go through the workshops find success in their lives. Some, by the way, even return to participate in teaching sessions. Starting this week, a fundraiser is happening to raise money for the group. The second annual Create-a-thon. Melissa Peterman is co-hosting and she joins me now. You know, Melissa, I don't know, do we tell the people how we met? Do we tell them about I, that I, fateful ride to the airport in Vancouver all those years ago? <laughs> I think we kind of need to because it sort of sets the stage for this beautiful friendship that we have. It really has. You know, we, we were lucky enough to be at an event and at the end of the event they put us all in, in vehicles and transported us and I was the lucky person that got stuck in the back seat with you and we had a ball. You cracked me up. I couldn't, I couldn't see for the tears that were rolling down my cheeks. You're a funny lady. I mean, like the, the event itself was lovely and phenomenal and spectacular, but I have to say, the car ride with you was kind of the best part of it. I mean, we were. We were just laughing. We were laughing and, so hard. I mean, so much fun, and I felt like, why haven't we been friends forever? Because we're, we're so clearly supposed to be. We are supposed to be, and she is my friend in my head. And, and I, when I heard that you were part of the Unusual Suspects, I was like, okay, well, this is something that I already know is changing lives, and this is somebody who just brings me joy. And, and you're so beloved um so first we gotta do the check-in how are you uh you know what i'm doing good you know i think this last you know 15 months or so has been difficult for everyone but you know everyone is healthy we got through it Every, i feel hopeful i know that uh it feels like there's light and um i'm excited for for the year the months to come i suppose i'm excited and ready how happy will you to be to log off for the <laughs> final time your zoom account <laughs> I, you know, I'm, people are zoomed out. Right? You know, remember the beginning when you're like, let's all just get together and we'll play games and we'll do this. I and know, now they're like, I, I can't do it. I don't want to do can't. it no more. But I'm happy to be here and doing it with you Me for too. such a great time. Okay, so how did you get involved? First of all, how did you get involved with the unusual suspects? Uh, well, the executive director, Melissa Denton, is a good friend of mine. Um, we're both, we both worked at an improv theater in Minneapolis, and she was executive director, uh, maybe not at the time that she brought me on board, and so she asked me to host their gala, like maybe, maybe 12 years ago, 13 years ago. I'm not good at time, and especially since this, After you know, pandemic, 20, yeah. What I is mean, time? What is time? <laughs> <laughs> Happy Blur's Day. I don't know what day this is. Um, and so I went to this gala and I just met some of these, the, the kids and the participants, and I saw what they were doing. And as somebody who understands that arts education can so make a difference in a kid's life, and it's, sure. it's not really about being an actor or performer. I mean, we, if you want to do that, that's great, but it's about giving you confidence. It's sure. about being seen, being heard, and telling a story. So after that first gala, I just kept coming back to host and host and getting more involved. And then about four years ago, almost four years ago, uh, they asked me to join the board, and I'm a board member, which is, uh, I feel really blessed to be on the board, and, and I just love, I love what they do. Well, and I think it's powerful that they came to, they came about as sort of a, a reaction to the, to the LA riots of, of all mm -hmm. of the 90s. When you think about what they were seeing, and we always talk about do what you can with what you have where you are. That's a, a quote from Theodore Roosevelt. Th these were people say we have something that could be a tool to help these young people see themselves, express themselves, express what's going on around and them. Process, process, and process it. what's going on around them. Yeah. And I mean, and I find that so, you know, I, I've uh, been zooming in and seeing some of the kids, their original works and their plays this year. And, you know, and they're, they maybe use a different medium. Maybe the way they're telling their story has magical elements or it's got wizards or this, but it really all is about processing what they're seeing in their world yeah. and telling their story through characters and a story. And it is so very powerful. Okay, so what is happening with the second annual Create-A-Thon? How does it work and how can folks at home get involved? 
Well, the great thing, I mean, as you know, everything went virtual and we yep. had to go virtual last year for our gala. And so we thought, what can we do to make it a little bit different? And so we're asking people, and you can do this from all over, anywhere you're at, because it's virtual. And we want them to create, because we asked these kids to create all the time. So we're like, how can we make fundraising feel inspiring and creative so we are asking you to maybe you know create a story write a poem write a song um, anything that maybe takes you outside of the box and in the process raise money maybe you would like for every hundred dollars you get i'll perform a scene i'll do this so it's a way to get <laughs> artists to share their creativity um, with the world and raise money and you know if you don't want to write a play you can write a check we'll take that too money is fun. Um, you can, yeah, money. We'll take money too, and you can join a team and and create stuff with each other. A couple people joined, uh, have a team going, and they're going to create scenes that were written by the unusual suspects uh, youth. And yeah, it's just a way to sort of you know we we really did ask these kids to pivot you know virtually. And I, I have to tell you, you know, as hard as this this last 15 months has been. These kids who you think, how are they going to go from the stage to writing and performing a play over Zoom? I'm telling you, they went above and beyond. They were creating graphics. They were making time jumps. They did yeah. costumes. And it was so inspiring. So we're like, if, they, if we can ask them to do that, let's ask, you know, the people, our sponsors, our donors to, to kind of join the fun. Yeah. Well, I want to point out that it's on all month. That's the great thing, and that's how you can participate, is go to theusualsuspects.org, and you can donate, you can sign up, you can just be a part of the effort. Maybe you'll end up being a board member like this lady over here. You know, I think about, I think about the fact that, you know, this couldn't have happened at a better time, really, because we have technology at our fingertips that you and I, even though we need to be socially distanced, we can still connect, our souls can connect. And these, everybody has had to create in unusual ways more than ever in the last 15 months. We are resilient, we are creative, and we can put both of those things together. And you guys have done it here with this, this fundraiser. We have, and you know, I was watching when I, they, your first, one of your first interviews, when you came over here, you said it, re it really is about connections. And, um, you know, it's great when we connect, you know, on a live stage and we're in the same room seeing it, but we are still, we have the ability to do it in this new medium. And yeah. I think some of the things we learned in this time period, we will carry through even when we're back on a live Absolutely. stage. Absolutely. It, it, will, it will stay with us. And here's the thing that I can guarantee. Once this world opens back up, you're going to come and visit us here at Good Day LA. Do you promise that? Oh, I promise. I will be there. I will be stalking you. I want to hang with you. I want to be there every day and uh, give you proper welcome. I cannot wait. Hug. I cannot wait. Hugs again. Hugs again. Once again, unusualsuspects.org uh, to learn more. Thanks so much, Melissa. Big hugs to you. Thank you. Thanks for having me. Our delight. Up next, the new animated film Luca, likely to be a huge hit. Uh, we're putting